malaria is a devastating disease that spreads heartbreak and suffering throughout much of the world. Thanks to the hard work of the most unlikely of heroes, millions of lives have been saved. But this miracle cure almost never came to be. This is the complicated story of a life-changing drug and the research team that almost sacrificed their own lives along the way. The battle against malaria is not a new fight. The disease has baffled scientists, both Chinese and Western, for centuries. So in 1967, when Chairman Mao entrusted a small group of relatively unknown researchers with the task of finding a cure using wisdom obtained from traditional Chinese medicine, nobody took much notice. Professor Lang Ling Fu was one of the first scientists to join the project. <laughs> Pinguangwa 从中草药里头发掘的那个那个抗药的药物开始了保护的但是总有希望的为什么呢我们国家呢几亿人呢生些繁衍就是靠中草药所以那个总会总会有这个有宝贝在里头所以呢我们呢就觉得问题是怎么
，除了说有肝脏损伤以外，肾脏或者其他各方面还还有什么损伤吗？那不晓得的。药是我们自己创制的，就是为了对病人负责。我就需要的话，自己体验一下，而且的话也是保证他病人确保病人的临床用药的安全。最后拼一拼的讲的，一定要拼一拼的讲。And their bravery was not in vain. Two UU's mission never really came to an end. And to this day, her scientists are still working on refining the drug. In 1999, the World Health Organization added artemisinin to their list of essential medicines. The drug saved millions of people in the world. In 2015, Tu Yu became the first female Chinese winner of the Nobel Prize. She dedicated the award to all those who contributed to the breakthrough and expressed hope that more lives could be saved by the drug in the future. This is not only for me personally, but also for the whole Chinese Medical Society.